Vagabond Vacations Bali. Check it out. I'm JC and this is the Vagabond family during Vagabond Yay! Vacations in Bali. Yes, this is the first day and we went for the most Balinese thing that you can find, which is obviously the rice fields. We're gonna go explore now, find a good spot to start with that Vagabond group shot. So follow me on this excursion script. So we're visiting the rice fields right now. That's where we're gonna have our first photo shoots here in Bali. Honestly, it's so big and beautiful here that it's almost difficult to choose a spot to shoot because you can literally shoot everywhere. It's gonna look amazing. But we're trying to find this one more little unique spot to take the first group photo. Oh wow, this is so far one of the most idyllic spots that I've seen in Bali. It's like a super cute little bridge here and a river flowing through, palm trees all around, rice fields all around. Yeah, I think you agree that it's very nice here, right? <laughs> Crazy! These views are amazing! Yes. What do you think, Josh? Yeah. I think I love this place. <laughs> it's so green and look at that. So yeah, we are just hiking along this path in the Jatilui rice terraces it's kind of five kilometers of hiking trails and i think we pretty much reached our spot where we have a lot of lines from all directions which is the cool thing if that you have all these leading lines and uh, a lot of depth to the photo beautiful bali background so i think we're gonna set up camp right there a few meters further and we are lucky because the sun just starts speaking through a little bit so we'll have some nice backlit light and hopefully no rain now it's kind of funny, it looks like a bikini contest or something because you're all oiling up like in front of me as if it's on stage. You guys ready? Alright, so the shot I want to go for is that you hold the hats around this area. Uh, kind of, you know, like Moulin Rouge, Cancan -Can vibes, you know, create all the sexiness with the shapes and your legs. I'm gonna try to shoot a bit lower maybe. Alright! I would like to try it, by the way, like a moving one. Up, down, up, down. All right, we got the group shot. Let's all get creative around this beautiful area. So let's go over there, show you guys. And honestly, it's also just really amazing to just walk around here in these rice fields. For sure, one of the prettiest places I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, definitely Instagram versus reality doesn't exist here because this is just reality, man. One of my favorite moments on a vacation is when the group shot is done and all the photographers spread out and do their own thing. So we're just gonna check out what everybody's up to right now. Oh, I love this. Oh my god. This is gonna be one of my favorite shots ever. I put on my 85 so I can get really good compression between her and the background. I shot her at 1.4 so she's totally separated and the bangers that you get. So, girls, what is going on? Shooting <laughs> in a rice field in Bali. <laughs> Do you have some specific ID? What you would like to show? No, we're just, we're like going with the flow. We're being spontaneous and just, yeah. Yeah, it's so pretty. I see another female duo taking photos together. So let's check that out. Can you maybe kind of like pull at your bikini and like play with it a bit? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we just, uh, you just missed it. We had a nice shot against this yes. uh, palm. Maybe you can show him the pose again. Yes. And I'll take a few more. And I like that you see these shadow light streaks on the, on the hat, the big hat. It's kind of a nice surface to show some shadows from the palm, which again adds this extra dimension of that there's some bigger palm that you don't really see on the photo. And we're also kind of cutting off right above the lips, so it adds some kind of sexy, mysterious vibe to the photo. So many uh, pieces of the palm tree are kind of making it more and more 
secretive. Arena found this cool little pad here that's gonna give for an awesome leading line and just nothing, nothing, nothing else than rice fields surrounding her, so that's gonna look really, really amazing. I became a phone videographer, but to be honest, it's really cool because phones are very good now to shoot with. They and are you, amazing. Yeah, and you instantly see the results. You don't have to do like color correction and all that crap. So it's kind of fun to be honest. Yeah, it's cool that models now also know about lighting because you know they're used to filming themselves with the phone and stuff, so they mm -hmm. understand how important it is to have good light. Head also makes that your face is more like evenly mm -hmm. lit, so it's like a trick. It's literally perfect. Okay, I got the photos. I need oh, to go. Yeah. <laughs> I can. I can go. Josh, you got competition, man. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, it's already nice. Oh my I god. Know, so, so I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfect. Yeah, yeah. More just leaning in. Yes. Exactly. And now lean in more, more towards each other. That's very cute. It looks like two girls having a little kiss behind the two big hats. Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah, okay. <gasps> wow. You see, you that's see the it. difference in effect if they look into the viewfinder or... Ahuyena. Ahuyena. Maria from this cool little looking house here. Great also for when it starts raining and we have some shelter. But the guys are taking some photos here with it as a prop. Well, we went for a little bit of a farmer look with the, the hats and the earth tone uh, bikinis outfits. So I thought that it matched this little hut, let's call it, of a sexy farmer girl. I was born on a farm, so I... Matches. Is, I'm literally a sexy That's why it looks so good, girl. it's just natural, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just me being me. <laughs> Domino is really enjoying life right now there. And getting a little tan even, so maybe, maybe be careful with the tan. <laughs> I really have one idea, a very long time in my mind. And uh, I uh, got a few shots, so I think it would be a nice video. Another shot with a Foxy and Irina. We're gonna do this kind of walking shot on this little road in between the two rice fields. We have a couple plants here that are red, which is pretty cool. And Ari's girlfriend Domino is wearing some red type of dress. So that's why they're taking some last shots there while the sun is going down now. It's, it has this Asian vibe, right? This kind of red flower. We found this cow shack and uh, thought do some photos with some cows in the background was Alessia's ID. They uh, turned out pretty good. We got her like feeding the cow. And then I also had her like stand next to the cows with her back to me. It was kind of a funny shot to see these <laughs> dirty cow butts and then this beautiful Thanks. Alessia's butt. It was a very contrasting shot. Maya, you're almost there. Oh. <laughs> Do not come to Riceville with and now flip it forward. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, we got a hill. Let's imagine that it's a volcano. That's always more cool. Might really be a volcano, by the way. And we got a setting sun right there with Maria right in the middle on this little road that goes in between the rice fields. Looks pretty cool, adventurous, like a walkway to your destiny kind of vibe. That was it for a satisfying shoot at the Jatilui Rice Terraces. Josh, I'm how exhausted. was it today? Exhausted. Oh man, I got the bangers today. Ooh. We got the bangers, that's all we need to hear. Oh, and with this beautiful sunset, we're heading home for a nice little vagabond dinner and getting ready for day two tomorrow. See you guys there. Skirt, skirt.